Good morning. So we're at the Gold Creek Snow Park. And um, actually, the sign here says Gold Creek Pond that way, Gold Creek Trail that way. I thought we were walking down this road. We'll figure it out. Um, there's a little parking lot they have. And they have some porta potties. We are right off of the I 90 exit, parked down this road. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is correct. So that's looking at the ski area across the interstate. But this, pretty sure this is Gold Creek. And there's people snowshooting up ahead. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, wow. They've got washed out, jeez. Wow. I wonder how long it's been like that. So that bridge is not drivable. And it looks like the rain slash snow has stopped. It's supposed to be um, dry for most of the day now. So I will see you when we get down the trail. This is Gold Creek Snow Park. You need um, the groom pass, I think, and the snow park pass. It's not groomed though right now. All right, we are walking north. So we definitely need to start getting some more snow. It's, um, things are starting to melt and compact. I think this trail is normally hikeable through March. I'm sure we'll get more snow. It's just been a pretty warm, dryish last two to three weeks. So. So it was raining when we got here, like heavy mist. It seems like it's almost done now, which is good. It's supposed to be dry all day. So this used to be the road closed barrier. All right, got to a level section. Hopefully the ponds are coming up. So we're definitely not on Gold Creek Trail. We'll have to go back to that one. I think this is um, not exactly sure, so I'll wait till we get back before I tell you. So it looks like the trail is flattening out. I don't see any peaks in front of us. Hopefully the ponds are coming up. He said ponds, the guy I talked to. I don't know if he means lakes or, I guess we'll find out though. Near the freeway. So somebody made a snowman here. They even put ears on it. I don't know if I've ever seen ears on a snowman before. <laughs> His eyes and nose and mouth are gone. He has one arm left. So I, I Kind of wondering if this is the Kindle, one of the ways to get to Kindle Peak or Kindle Knob Trail. Either way, it's fun. It's definitely not cold. We we're kind of warm walking. Oh, so through these trees, is the ski area. I don't know if the camera could pick it up. It looks like the the very top one almost has a giant parking lot. Pretty high above the 
freeway actually. So there's a good ski run right in the middle of the viewfinder. It's starting to rain again. Really light mist. So there's the freeway way down there. It looks like a thousand feet down. And you can see the lake. The camera's, I know, is not picking it up. But, and it's raining now. Oh, there's a really good view of the lake. And if you look back this way, there's a steep slope on the other side of that valley. That's the um, Golden Creek Trail goes in that ravine. It's supposed to be really neat. We'll, since we messed up today, we'll do that next time. My other half. She loves it when we get lost. We're not lost, we just did the different trail that we thought. It happens. There's the ski area again. I looked at the Google Maps and I don't think we're going to get to any ponds. They're, if the ponds the guy was talking about at the beginning are the ones I saw on Google Maps, we're only halfway there. And away we go. Definitely getting foggy, getting into the clouds. Huh, that's the hard thing about Washington. Every hike is straight up. That's why I like the Southwest. You get more flats and slide ups and downs. So I love the desert, like Moab, Utah area. There's a lot of snow up here. So I think Snoqualmie Pass is 3,100 feet. Oh. So I want to say we're probably at 4,000 feet. We, I feel like we've went up 1,000 feet in elevation easily. I can hear all the snow falling. Water. That's where we're going. All right, there's the Snoqualmie Pass ski area. And that's where we're going. So that's I-90 down there. It's like one of the main parking lots. Well, we just ate lunch and onward we go. So we see a really high peak. That might be Kendall Peak. We're going to try and get to the base of that. And if this trail starts switch backing up, we're going to call it a day and head back down. It's about 1 o'clock. So we've been out for 2 hours and 15 minutes. The sun peaked out a few minutes ago. I would say we're a thousand feet up from the freeway, if I had to guess. But I need to get an altimeter. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's snowing. It's really pretty in here. Supposedly they got 6 to 12 inches of snow up here overnight last night. I think all these tracks are from today. And that's where we came from. So I can't see the freeway through the trees in the middle. It's going down the hill. So that looks like a trail coming up from the Snoqualmie Pass exit. No one's been on it today. And there's our trail. We're gonna, I think 15, 20 minutes is our max. And we are done turning around for the day. Definitely come back in the summer, try and do this. <coughs> mm. 
Oh, that's neat. The sun shining. All right, there's the freeway turning the corner and going back down. So that's the eastbound lane and the westbound lane is way off to the right. Yeah, this, so I think if you get to Kendall Peak from the parking lot, it's 2,500 feet up, which we we'll probably do half of that today. That's enough. It's rainy again. So you hear snow falling off the trees all around us. It makes you think there's animals. Uh, this is hard. Almost had enough today. It is really pretty though. Uh, I think it's around one o'clock. I might call it. I'm tired. We're getting pooped. Another half. Oh, someday we hope to be in shape to make it to the top of one of these hikes. Someday. Well, we are headed back down. I'm sure it's amazing at the lakes and at the very top, but we just can't do any more today. I think a thousand foot to 1500 foot elevation gain is our max right now in snowshoes. To get to the very top, it's 2500 feet on this hike. For lucky, we went halfway in elevation gain. It's snowing again. It's 34 degrees at some point we pass. So we're a good five, six, seven, eight hundred feet above that. So this is a, an old forest service road. Pretty much all the way to the top it sounds like. Supposed to get sunny next week. One of the weather sites said Mount Rainier from like Thursday to Monday it was supposed to get five to six feet of potential snow. If that happens, we'll have to go there next week. There'll be a ton of snow on the ground. It'll be well over 10 feet, could be like 13, 14, 15 feet. So up ahead is where we get lunch, I think. Wow, that's pretty steep. So I think I figured out from talking to people, this is the Kindle Lake slash Kindle Peak Trail. I want to say it takes eight to 11 hours to do. So it'd probably be something better off doing in the summer when we're hiking and we have more daylight and we're walking and not in snowshoes. So I don't know if we will come back in the snow. We might wait to hike this. And I need to find out if the road does actually go to the very top. I can't imagine it does. Because usually at some point it becomes a trail. But if it does, we could bring our mountain bikes. I just don't want to bring our bikes if it actually turns into a legitimate trail. 
Definitely harder snowshoeing than hiking, I will say. It takes more out of you. So we've seen two dogs now, a little poodle with some hikers, our snowshoes, and another little dog with a snowboarder who made it up to the second lake. And the little dog in his short legs is running after him. Pretty funny. He got little bear bells on the dog. Uh, you can see we're already losing elevation. The, there's a lot less snow on the trees. Wow, earlier today, that mountain peak in front, which is on the other side of um, Gold Creek area, we can barely see because of the fog. So that first real good viewpoint is coming up where we could see I-90 and the lake looking east. down sure is easy though definitely steeper than I thought this trail might be as steep as last week actually I'm actually sliding in my snowshoes at times Every corner is, just gets better going down. See the trail way down there, switching back. So yeah, if you have a dog, these um, trails like this are dog friendly, it looks like. So this, this is not a snow park trail. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to find out. I mean, they did have porta potties and a sign at the bottom, but it all said Gold Creek. It didn't say anything about Kindle Knob or Kindle Mountain or Kindle Lakes. So, and I've seen two dogs on the trail. So, I'm gonna say you can have dogs on this trail. It's funny, they've been little dogs too. I haven't seen any huskies yet. Big dogs. Catching up with my Sasquatch. She's very elusive. Lives in the Washington woods. Eats my food. Well, I think this is it for today. So tomorrow I think we're gonna take it easy and we'll see what happens on the rest of the weekend. I like to do go hard on Saturday and then we have time to recover. And we've been, you know, had four days to rest during the week, depending on what we do on Sundays.